sometimes the things that you feel like are the biggest, most awful thing in your life is actually saving you. Are you ready for some good news? When God told Jonah to preach to the despised Ninevites, the prophet booked a cruise in the opposite direction. But Jonah couldn't sail faster or farther than God's relentless love. When a big storm arose at sea, the pagan sailors accommodated the depressed prophet's request and heaved him overboard to die. But God wasn't ready for Jonah to die. When Bennett was little, he loved play acting the story of Jonah. He crawled up on the couch and announced, This is the boat where I'm sleeping. Daddy, you're the sailor who wakes me up. So I rousted the little sleeping prophet, threw him from the couch, I mean from the boat. And the little prophet was floundering in the deep blue sea, I mean the den floor carpet, when he said, Okay, Daddy, now you be the whale. So I began clapping my arms together like the jaws of a great white shark. And I said, here comes the big whale to eat up Jonah. Well, suddenly Bennett stopped the game. No, Daddy, he said. The whale doesn't eat Jonah. He saves him. Well, I'd been to seminary. I'd taken a course on the minor prophets. I even knew some Hebrew. I thought I knew the book of Jonah. But I had to go check. I'd never seen the story quite as accurately as my little boy. He was right. God sent the big fish to save a very depressed prophet. Jonah prayed about this and said, you brought my life up from the pit. He recognized the fish saved me. There's a whale of a difference between being eaten and being saved, isn't there? When shame has gripped your heart and you feel like running away to Tarshish, God will come after you. He loves you too much to let you go. And when you feel like telling the sailors in your life to dump you overboard, remember, God loves you enough to send a whale your way. Sometimes it feels like life is swallowing us whole, but don't despair. The overwhelming shadow that engulfs you today might be actually God's saving answer. You have a whale of a future and a hope, and that's the gospel. You can get more devotionals like this by clicking right here. Better yet, subscribe. Start every single day with the good news, and I hope that you have a whale of a day.